Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome, we face back to the Satoshi Club, where in today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the top eight AIs that will help your business, that will help your productivity and generally your life. Because in this day and age, we need to follow the AI if we want to be useful in the next five years. It is uh, just crazy. It's just crazy how good they work. It's crazy how much they can help with productivity and everything. And the best part is they can't really work without an input, which means they can't really work without humans, which means that if you want to be uh, a pioneer inside of the AI world, you just need to learn how to use them properly. So let's get straight into it, right? We have the top eight right here. I'm going to show you, first of all, the AI image enlarger and enhancer tools. And if you enjoy the video overall, you can check out the Satoshi Club down in the description below. If you want some memes, if you want some market uh, recaps and a lot more when it comes to uh, a massive community, right? So let's get straight into it, right? We have the AI image enlarger. And as always, all of the links will be linked down in the description below. And this one basically helps you make your images better. So it's sort of like a built in Instagram filter that enlarges your images, makes them better, upscales your images, makes you look uh, cartoonified as well, upscales your anime image as well up to the 16k uh, retouches your face right if you have blurry face it makes you a nice retouch it sharpens your stuff as well it enhances your uh, photos a lot of these things can actually be found on uh, you know your Instagram filters right but for example look at this the AI background remover acts as a green screen pretty much right and it pretty much removes the entire background but as you can see it did make a small mistake up here uh, right it didn't remove the full background but it doesn't matter, right? If you want to make everything easy for yourself and you don't want to edit your photos or videos in Premiere or even on the Instagram filters, well, you are, are able to take advantage of this, right? One of the coolest things that I've seen is the AI photo colorizer. And it's basically just an image editor that does all of your tedious work for you, like erasing your laptop off the table. So it's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, you may find some uses for it if you're putting out a lot of content every day and you just don't have the time to do all of this stuff on your own. If you learn how to instruct this AI correctly, it's going to do pretty much everything you need for you perfectly. Right. So that was the first one. You can find it at imglarger.com. And let's move on into hypotenuse.ai. Now, this one is a little bit different, right? It basically writes content for you instead of images. And it's pretty cool because it doesn't have this human writer's block feature, right? And when you're writing a script or when you're writing an article and you're trying to find the perfect word, sometimes you're not able to find it, right? And this is where hypotenuse AI actually comes into play. You literally have to give it just a few keywords and a few SEO keywords if you want to be ranked. And it's going to write your blog article. It's going to write your e-commerce content. It's going to write your images, your artwork, your paid ads in social media company, your emails, your website content, a lot of different things. And all you need to do is literally include any SEO keywords you want to do, write one to two sentences on what your topic is, customize your copy with tone and perspective options and choose from 25 plus languages, right? You're basically able to batch generate quality and factual content. And if you ask me, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen because a lot of people out there are writing, publishing, copywriting, blog writing, and the AI just simply can do it for you. Now, can it write better than humans? Probably not, but look at this example right here. Can you actually tell which one is human and which one is AI? Well, this one is human right here, but I bet, you know, I actually voted A. I thought this one was human when I did the test before. So as you can see, they're very, very similar. And uh, basically the AI is pretty good. So let's move on into the next one. And this is the personal.ai. So for those of you that have actually used Notion or a lot of these productivity sites like Trello or whatever, you know, where you put your planner inside and then you put your Friday schedule and then you add a meeting and then you, you do this, you do that. And it's just, it's difficult, right? You need to tag your stuff. You need to add subfolders. You need to, it's just tedious, right? So what this personal AI actually does is unlocks your ideas in seconds, right? So for example, if you have to have a dinner in Friday, Friday night, right? All you need to do is literally tell this AI, Hey, you know, I want to, you know, can you schedule, I have a meeting at 9 PM on Friday, right? And throughout the week, whatever you tell this AI, it's going to store and factualize and, you know, compartmentalize in the way that you want it to be done. So when Friday comes and you actually want to see what you got to do, you just ask him, Hey, what are my tasks for today? And the AI is going to tell you exactly what you've plotted inside. So it's pretty cool. 
try to do it. You're going to accelerate your productivity. You're going to make everything easier for you. Me personally, I write all of my stuff on a little pen and paper, right? On a, in a little notebook, but maybe it's time to actually move into AI and uh, learn the ins and outs of it. So I'm going to test it out. And maybe if I find it useful, I may make a separate video about my process in a few weeks. So let's move on to the next ones. Now, one of the pretty cool ones that I found as well was Socratic.org, right? And it's basically, you know, if you're stuck somewhere in a math problem or a subject, or if you're in school, or if you're doing an assignment and you're not able to complete it, well, this AI can help you. And it works for all subjects, right? Science, math, literature, social studies, and a lot more. It's built for learning though, right? Because it's built with help of teachers and it's not there just to plagiarize your exams. It's there to literally help you learn more. So if you don't know how to, you know, do the square root of 3x minus 13 equals 5 and solve the equation, the AI is going to show you exactly how to solve it. And all you need to do is input the data. So it's pretty cool. It's powered by Google AI, which is a pretty strong one. And it's loved by teachers and students around the world. So if you have any uses for this, make sure to check it out. Now, you've all heard of ChatGPT, right? But have you heard of Stork or the ChatGPT for Teams, right? It's a collaboration workspace for hybrid and remote human teams working asynchronously aided by artificial professionals. So how does it work? You have your own workspace with your coworkers and you also have an AI in there that helps you, right? It records and transcribes all of your video and voice meetings and calls as well, which is really cool and makes it pretty much nifty, right? It, Basically, you know, sometimes in the past, there was a person who used to transcribe all of this stuff. Now an AI does it all right. And it provides several chat GPT based AI personas to every single worst space out there. The chat GPT lawyer, the chat GPT marketer and the chat GPT image maker. Now they're working also on a creating a marketplace to bring any AI professional your team may require. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of scary though, that there's AI professionals these days, but what are we going to do? You know, the best thing to actually do about it is to learn how to control these AIs the best way possible. So you can play back your recordings from your meetings. You can find out specific uh, words, keywords when they were happening in your meetings. You have these uh, water coolers, wh whatever this is, right? It's a, uh, it's a real problem uh, for remote teams, right? Absence of unexpected office encounters. So Stork is actually the first and only business platform that solves it. So when two people are talking in Stork, any other team member can join the conversation. So these uh, spontaneous meetings actually add a little bit of a lively and human value to it. And uh, all of these are, you know, non AI things where you can start a live conversation in any channel out there. But in general, it uses these AIs to actually make your experience working in a workspace a lot more enjoyable, even if you're doing it from home. Now, the next one is your video library, right? Studio.d slash id.com. I'm going to leave the links down below. Don't worry about it. And basically what it does is allow you to create personal personalized videos, PID's right? Created. With, uh, you know, the help of this software right here. So basically you, you add the parameters, you choose one of these AI presenters Reality and you give them a text. And now, basically what they do well is literally animate text, your audio, images or text or whatever you want. And you can create avatars and generate scripts and using stable diffusion, GPT-3 and a lot more. And as you can see, you can first of all, you want to do a photo want, of, say, uh, you know, you want to have a portrait of a half alien goddess talking into the screen. I mean, come on, this is really Not really sure cool and if you need a presenter to do your stuff AI you can literally do it through and chat it will automatically and they're going to use their own you. voice as well if so that's pretty it, cool they may take my job one day but what to do ai is taking over the world i guess you just have to brace for impact and the next one and uh you know almost uh, at the end of it right now it's the magic studio right and this is for creating stunning profile pictures with ai it's pretty simple. You add your photo inside and it creates, you know, tens or hundreds of photos of you in the AI world. You can also create pictures with words or you can remove unwanted things in seconds. But, you know, the first time the AI image enlarger does that as well. So I guess you got to see which one works the best. You can remove backgrounds as well. Uh, you know, the background of this cat automatically in a few seconds, which makes it pretty cool. Or you can enlarge your pictures without using quality. As you can see, it does, uh, you know, get enlarged pretty well uh, through this AI enhancing. Now, last but not least, we have RYTR or writer, and it's a 10 times way to write a uh, faster way to actually write story plots, Instagram posts or anything you want to do. There's a huge amount of people who actually use this. There's a huge amount of people who have tried it before. What it basically does is you choose your use case 
add some input for context and writer will automatically write your whole article out for you so let's see what they actually do right you enter the website and you want to do something right so you press the start writing button and what happens is you choose from first of all 30 plus use cases in your preferred language and tone type which can be energetic which can be funny informative humorous and a lot more if you want to do a blog post for example or an email or a facebook interview or whatever you want to do you can pretty much just choose it right and what you need to do is provide a few pieces of text and some input and uh, they're literally going to generate content for you instantly so this is one of the really cool ais that will help you get killer content effortlessly if you want to generate scripts for whatever you're doing uh, it's pretty cool and it sort of sums up my video today on the best ai things for business and productivity that you can use so thanks for taking the time to watch another video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you did and i hope to see you all in the next one